Maple Bird are doing advanced R&D to develop the smallest flying robotic robots on the planet. These wings will beat about 400 times a second. So that's very, very high. And what it enables is it enables it to be very stable and react very fast to its environment. My name is Silas from Reach Robotics and we make these robots called Mecha Monsters. And they're basically personal robotic pets that battle each other. So this is a 3D printed conceptual model of our robot. As a very young kid, we're talking six or seven, I love to take apart radios and stuff like that. Robotics was my gateway, a way to combine all of this stuff. My name is Harry G of Agilic Limited and I'm developing the PiBot Raspberry Pi robot. The PiBot has things like speech recognition and it has a little speaker system so it can talk. People actually build it themselves. I feel that that process is empowering. They're kind of made by people and they're for people. D-Risk is a company that's set up to try and automate the mathematics for software systems. And we make automatic verification and validation tools. I'm trying not to get too deep here, but robotics is, 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 a, is a way of life. It's very enjoyable and fun to, to play around with robots. Classical look of robotics, I suppose, where you get the Star Wars movies and you get R2-D2 and C-3PO. It's electronics, engineering, it takes some inspiration from nature. Circuits. Obsession. You have the ability to give people new limbs and things like that. It's, it's amazing. I mean, we've never been able to do that before. California is just a great place to go to. Technology communities in Silicon Valley and San Diego, which is an important area for robotics as well. They're very much a very much can-do attitude. The mission to America is very exciting for us. The uh, opportunity to meet some like-minded companies over there, potentially meeting investors. This is a product that, you, that is an international product. It's not just for the UK. And the market in, in, over in the US is quite big. So this is our first point of contact, basically, to make some connections there. It would be nice to see firsthand what's happening at the forefront of robotics uh, startup. I think the dream outcome is really just to find good partners out there that, wanna, that we can talk to about the vision and what it is we're trying to do and for them to partner up with us in terms of help make it happen. I think that's really what we're, we're looking to do now. TSB have helped considerably in the development of our tools and techniques. The Technology Strategy Board has been very useful for us. They're funding a, a joint project between Maplebird and the University of Manchester to develop this ultrasonic proximity detection system that we can put on board this to detect objects. In the future, I think robotics will change society as we know it as has computing. In things like the medical industry, I know that when I'm old, probably there'll be robots around to probably take the role of nurses or even carers, which I think opens some interesting questions. Robotics, within the next 50 years, robotics is gonna be in every, you know, we've got robots in our arms already. Robot, they will be exactly the same case. Robotics is gonna be in every aspect of our life, I think. And, you know, uh, improving our lives, obviously.